one of the more interesting and maybe nefarious things that have gone on in the world of movies over the last number of years has been the absolutely unmitigated embarrassing disaster that was Universal's Dark Universe. Remember? They came out with The Mummy and they had like 43 other films planned. They drew in photo shoots with all the stars are going to be in it. And then it lasted one film. Now, one of the casualties of the demise of the Dark Universe was a planned Invisible Man movie, which I think that was going to be Johnny Depp. Wasn't that going to be Johnny Depp at one point? But anyway, they're still moving forward. They're going to do an Invisible Man movie. It's not going to be part of the Dark Universe. And it's not going to be Johnny Depp, but they are moving forward with that, with Blumhouse lower budget stuff. And Elizabeth Moss from Handmaid's Tale is going to be one of the stars in it. And this is what they say about that particular production on that. They're saying uh, the Invisible Man follows Cecilia, who's played by Elizabeth Moss from Handmaid's Tale, who receives the news of her abusive ex-boyfriend's suicide. She begins to rebuild her life for the better. However... Her sense of reality is put into question when she begins to suspect that her deceased lover is not actually dead. And anyway, Lee Wanell, the guy who directed Upgrade, is directing this film, and he just got on. This is what the story is about. He just got on social media, said, Hell, what am I going to do in Australia today? I know, I'm going to shoot a movie. They have officially begun production of this Invisible Man film. Now, there's a couple of interesting questions that get raised When talking about this, one of them, of course, is are they going to do this treatment for all the other casualties of the dark universe? Like, could we maybe see a a, a Wolfman movie that's not connected to a shared cinematic universe? Could they do with this and could they do with that? Uh, That's always interesting, too. But I'm really fascinated by this particular movie, if for no other reason than the fact that Elizabeth Moss is connected in one of the shows that I'm really hooked on right now is Handmaid's Tale. Anyway, Rob, you're seeing that this thing's getting a movie. Do you think there's a future for these movies at Universal that were going to be part of the dark universe? Can they sustain themselves or maybe even better as standalone films? Uh, Absolutely. First of all, the Universal monster movies were always, for the most part, small intimate stories right frankenstein until you get to the end with the monsters being chased by the villagers these were movies about the inner life of these creatures you know the frankenstein monster trapped in a world he never made like howard the duck he was constructed by dr frankenstein (laughs) i've never heard that comparison before (laughs) i know but it's it one of the things that that i thought was really a mistake is the mummy is this huge apocalyptic movie And that, to me, is the wrong way. What you should have done is start the Burnett axiom. Never put your universe before your characters or your story. And they certainly put their universe before their characters and the story with the dark universe. The monsters, the universal monsters, are are small, intimate stories that should have been built out and made much larger. I was desperately excited to see Bill Condon's Bride of Frankenstein. I mean, he obviously made... Uh, Gods and Monsters, right. which was about James Whale. I'm a big fan of Bill Condon's. Uh, I wanted to see that, but no, we had to have some gigantic, apocalyptic, world destroying mummy movie with Tom Cruise, which didn't work. And and Lee Whannell co created the Saw franchise with 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 James Wan. He's gone back to his native Australia to shoot this movie. I thought Upgrade was a terrific look. When I say B movie, I don't mean it's a bad movie, but it was a lower budget no, that's, genre that's exactly what it genre was, yeah. picture, and it was so much fun and it was so good. And this sounds like the the perfect way working with with Jason Blum and Blumhouse make these movies. You know what? You know what's going to happen? He's building the dark universe. They're building it at Blumhouse. They're going to do it for five or ten million dollars a movie. Each movie's going to make a hundred million dollars, and then they're going to make a team up film where all these characters are together, and they're going to do it for a fraction of what they were going to do the dark universe for, and they're going to win in the end. And and this is how these things should be done in Hollywood. You start small and you grow them. You don't start out. Everybody's trying to get a home run all the time, and you know in life, what you want to do is get all of your men on base, and then have somebody come in for maybe the fourth movie and knock it out of the park, and then you score four times instead of, oh, not at all. Aaron, you're hearing the synopsis for this movie now. You know a little bit of the background. Is this a project that just, even on its own, sounds like something that's interesting to you? 
Absolutely. And also, I think that my birthday gift from Robert is the reminder that Howard the Duck is a movie, and maybe I should be watching that this weekend. <laughs> Love that reference. Uh, I'm I'm with Robert. I really do agree that these movies as standalone films can have such a greater impact by really hitting an audience at their emotional core. You know, the casting of Elizabeth Moss, as you said, is such an interesting turn. You know, it'll be interesting to see what happens with her upcoming film, The Kitchen, um, that's coming out. Which you know, I'm so excited Can't for. Can't wait. Same same here absolutely i mean hell's kitchen in the 1970s i lived in hell's kitchen but in the late 2000s <laughs> so uh it was very different when i lived there but um i'm i'm really excited to see this new slate of films you know elizabeth moss brings such depth and gravitas not just with her role in handmaid's tale but also you know when she was on mad men the th- the arc that her character oh. went through was pretty dark. And so um, I don't, and she also is sort of sitting in the, the, the catbird seat right now, as far as having her pick of what movies she wants to do. And I'm pretty sure she's a, she's choosing wisely. So I'm looking forward to it. I agree. I, I, and look, I think this looks interesting. I don't know if, if we're going to see Bloomhouse go the way of a big team up later on. I, you know, I but was... you might be. Well, I mean, joking aside, that you might be right. That could be a, an opportunity they may see later down the road, depending, of course, how Invisible Man does, and then if they do another one after that. But this could be the something, uh, the beginning of something that we could look back on six years from now and go, remember when they started this then, and it well, could be something different. Something you cannot. One of the most important things that they're doing over at Blumhouse is they're making movies that are less than $20 million. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. theatrically released. I mean, remember, he was involved with The Purge, with Insidious, with Get Out. Uh, he even produced Whiplash, moving away from horror. But he's the only person that's consistently doing genre horror pictures, theatrically released, and making huge profits on the amount of money they're spending. No other studio in Hollywood even knows how to do what he's doing. Right. And but he's got I wouldn't Universal. Be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they start trying it pretty soon. When you see something that's successful, people in Hollywood tend to jump on that, mm-hmm. and understandably so. Listen, guys, the question is, what do you think about this? Do you think, I just forget it, This all these monsters, old classic ones, they're doomed to fail, don't do it? Or like us, do you think this is actually pretty, sounds pretty good? Jump down the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.